Okay, first up though, we're going to get... I swapped my controls here. We're going to get Metro versus Frodo. I'm excited. Uh, St Stylo, uh, if that's how you pronounce your name, I'm always confused how I pronounce people's names. Next time, just uh, let me know if you're having trouble signing up. I will help you as much as I can. But yeah, first up, we're going to have Metro Metropolis versus Frodo T. Baggins. It should be a fantastic match. We'll turn off that other music. We don't need to hear that anymore. And hopefully Metro is uh, ready to play. You're in rank. We'll get out rank. You can you can take a loss. That'd be fine. I would do it. That just makes me better. I, I don't I don't fucking know. It's, it's okay. Take your time. It's just the start of the mat uh, the tournament. It'll be okay. I'm just excited to see Frodo. I've not seen Mr. Frodo in bracket in a while. Hope everyone is having a good night as we get started with this 81st tournament. Your match is done. Okay, then it should be imminently upon us the arrival of uh, Metropolis. There he is. Y'all are good to go. Oh, wait. No, Frodo jumped back in. That's weird. I'm sending you another invite. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh no, I've typed two M's. I'm stuttering. There we go. Mr. Raft Dance in here. Okay, let's get started with this first match. Obviously, we're seeing Idol. No idea who who uh, Frodo might be using. He's got a lot. The Shadow Jago is pretty good for him. I like his Maya, although obviously Maya is less good. <laughs> yeah, there's the Shadow Jago. Let's get started. Oh my god, my travel's going in. Just does not care. Oh, oh the block DP. He's already ready for the, the aggressiveness from Metropolis. Yeah, Metropolis needs to watch his distance on those shadow moves. It goes decently far, but it's not that far. And a quick round there from Pareto. That jumping medium kick though. Go so far. Oh, he tried to punish it. He saw motion and just tried to press a button. I like the idea of trying to stay away, but uh, he should just block. He should just block. You gotta block the high though. Frodo definitely needs to show a bit more patience. He keeps on getting hit. Oh, the backdash GP, the classic from Shago. The immediate break on the juggle. Metropolis with no patience. He does not want to take anything. Okay, dash through, throw. Spending all of that Shadow Meteor, he gets an instinct. Oh no, he's going to get DP'd. No, he went with Telestrike, interesting. I wonder why he went with that. Maybe it was a panic button. There we go, finally opens them up. But I kind of hate seeing the, the second instinct pop whenever your opponent's still in green. 
I let him get out of that situation, but that's like Idol's strongest point there. This is a uh, not that Idol can't do it. Idol's still a strong character outside of Instinct. Wow, that has no recovery. Oh my god, idle jumping kicks are so ridiculous. Oh! Could he not confirm from that? There we go. A few touches, and there we go. Metro, Metro. Frodo gets the first one. Frodo definitely just decided, um, I'm, I'm gonna block for a minute. Don't block for a minute <laughs> once you got instinct. Okay, I don't know. I definitely think. I, I feel like I say this a lot, to Metro, because I know he's listening. I think he could, he could exhibit a little bit more patience. Obviously, Idol is a character where you do want to be super aggro sometimes, but I, I feel like he just never turns it off. Especially with these uh these shadow moves in neutral that don't always uh like uh, the shoulder didn't even reach. Going back into it, Shadow Jago, of course. Idol never, I've never seen Metro play in another character except for whenever he was forced to via tournament roles for a uh, character choice. I like a character specialist though. Big fan. Okay, immediately get, oh my god, that medium punch. And the meteor's just sniping out of the sky. Okay, blocks the overhead. Ooh, he had the right call, but the timing was a little too late. Again. Oh, I guess it's it's fair game, you know? You miss one, the combo breaker. Okay, a late break on that one. Just stuffs the dash. Oh my god, he went through that one. Classic Chago mix. Just dash through him. Am I deeping or am I grabbing? There we go, gets the counter breaker. This should be death. And, uh, not a super fast round, but it was a pretty dominant from Metropolis there. Oh my goodness, jump back. He's really keeping him out here with a, a wall of buttons and projectiles. That's gonna get punished though. The back telestrike is a classic for Metro. Oh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, just block. Gets a throw. That's not too bad though. Oh no, that should be dead. And a supreme victory for Metropolis. F me, what I say? Victory. Jesus went in, made it happen. He was actually playing the neutral with the mage form pretty effectively, not allowing Frodo to really jump or do anything. Pretty good to watch. I like it. But well, Frodo, I, I don't know. Shadow Jago is a really good character. He's like just below the top five, I feel like. Or maybe not. Maybe he's in the bottom of the top ten. Let's say that. He's a good character, though. I don't know if uh, Frodo might change to another character, though. Definitely not. He's sticking with it. I gotta find something else to talk about in between matches, huh? These players play the same characters. I got nothing to talk about. Jago's a good pick though. Just overall, I don't really know 
specifically the matchup, like how exactly it plays out, how the, the mains of these characters feel about it. Oh my god, that didn't hit him. He pushed himself a little forward with the Shindokuken. Oh, nice use of the dive kick to get out of the meteor. But uh, he's ready to punish as soon as he's got in front. He missed times the Shadow Breaker. Oh, nice block on the overhead. Takes his turn. Once again, like. Metropolis' is APM is out of control. He's always trying to do something. Oh, he, he st stood block those. The overheads do not matter. Back dashing the sweep. That was kind of wild. I don't know why he went with that strength. Turn around, throw whip, and no punish. My god, that punch goes so far. I know it's only a projectile move, but it goes so far. Metropolis not ready to block the own cross up there against him. Blocking out. This shouldn't do that much damage. He's not got the uh, the meter built up on both the characters quite yet. Uh, he gets another one, though. The meter build's kind of ridiculous. Although I guess he does get kind of double meter building instinct since he's able to use the opponent's uh, shadow meter once he has that install. Nice defense here from Proto. Yeah, take that pip throw. Who cares? It does 3% damage or something like that. The pips are strong, but uh, you'll be okay. You know what? I like it. He has the health to give. That's Chiv. Putting the oh my god just slides in from full almost full screen and gets it. But yeah, the pressure was on Metro right there. It's honestly kind of a it, it's a high pressure situation. A lot of people do like to try to break there. And we got we got some scores coming in from the other matches happening. Yes, Frodo goes up to one. Let's see. Ah. Roman, thank you so much for the sub to Frodo. He deserves it. I know that was a long time ago. He's not played Fortnite with us. I mean, I've not played Fortnite myself in quite some time. My uh, my commentary is gonna be a little tilted at the moment because I'm trying to input scores, but there's just so many Shindo Kukins. I can hear that. Looks like it's been a really even match. It's been going on for a while, but. Chili connection. 
I mean, he has to deal with it too. It is not a one-sided thing. It does suck to play it. I, I, I can definitely... I can uh, empathize with that, but like it, it, it's a, it's a two side, a two way street. Yeah, Bro's going in. With all these, he makes these slight adjustments in between each match between uh, him and Proto, and he's just, oh, he's just been making the aggression work. Oh, he tried to backdash, but he grabs the startup. There we go. Proto getting the second win here. Or his second win. It's the fourth match. We're getting to a, a final round. I picked a good one for the first one, huh? I mean, I, I would assume you like that, Heinous. I assume you love the aggression. Yeah, Frodo's playing. I was excited to see him. Welcome. I mean, Idol definitely 100% benefits from aggression, especially the warrior form. The mage form you sometimes have to be a little more conservative about because of how big the startup is. And we're getting a Maya, oh my goodness. Frodo said, here's a treat for y'all. Now, I would be... I wouldn't be too surprised if, if uh, Metro doesn't really know how to handle this character defensively. Just There's just not that many Mayas, but maybe it won't matter, though. My goodness, barely touching with those toes. There we go, getting the punish on Tell Strike. Metro, that is one of Metro's bad habits. He, he uh, really likes that Tell Strike, and it's just not that good. A nice slash what's up. Okay, now he has meter if he goes for... Oh, he just DPs out. I was going to say, if he went for another uh, meteor strike with the DP. Oh no, he had the right call, but once again, a little too late. I have, that's been happening a lot. You cannot break projectiles. You got to be a much more reactive against Maya's juggles. I am, I am. Oh my god, another counter breaker, and there we go. Frodo's gonna take it with the ultimate? Oh my goodness. Ultimate. <laughs> Frodo was like, let me let me hit you with that knowledge, Jack. Look, I'm just trying to get it, uh, stuff going as fast as possible. Until we get to the top eight. I'm pretty sure we're going to see both of them again. A solid Maya? It's pretty good, yeah. It's okay, I just wanted to get you on stream, Roman. Don't worry, I'll ready up in a second. I gotta set up all the stream text. Yeah, we got Roman tonight as well. I know PC2 Mill likes to be on the second side. We should be good to go now. 